Hello, I am Becky, your postpartum corrective exercise specialist. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am in Hong Kong right now. Look at my view outside. Oh, I miss Hong Kong. It's been nine years since I came back here and I miss everything. Being here with a lot of people and being in a busy city, seeing so many interesting things. My kids are loving it. So today I have another questions from my Instagram. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram um, at Becky Choi underscore. I chat with uh, moms very often there just to see how they are. If they need any help, I can point them to some directions. And if you have questions, I would answer here on the YouTube channel. This is a question from Candace. She asked, can fat, dome, or cone, coning, right? And not be diastasis recti. I thought this is a great question and it can be confusing when it comes to measuring your diastasis to see whether you actually have it or not. So now I would not based on whether coning or doming would be the determining factor whether you have diastasis recti or not. Because if you wanted to know whether you have DR, the most accurate way um, that you can do self-check at home is really just lying on the floor and do a knee crunch. I literally can just lie on the floor here and I will demonstrate to you quickly. So literally, I would just lie down on the floor and then my feet are bent and I'm just going to lift my head up and then I'm going to place the fingers onto the belly button to see if there is a gap like that, right? You will be able to feel a wall, right? I can still fit one finger. Can you, can you see that? I can still feel a one finger. You can see a wall here, right? So this is how you would check if you have diastasis recti. Not from that your fats are doming or coning. Those are not the most accurate indicator. And because the fat can bunch us up because when you're lifting your head up and when you're doing certain things, you will see those bulging moments where like it's it looks like it could be diastasis to doming but it's not so it's hard for you to tell even right now if I just like squeeze it together like it's hard for you to tell oh is this actually doming or bulging right now I do have a lot of loose skin that is just the fact now <laughs> after two kids and having two severe diastasis it's just there if you let's say you're doing an exercise and maybe you're doing a sit up or a crunch or plank and you're seeing oh something is hanging it's like something is bulging it could just be the subcutaneous fat that is just like kind of clump up together because you know those are fats right they move around and when you're bending or using your body in a certain position they could just bunch up it might not be doming or coning from the diastasis because doming and coning from diastasis it's because you are not able to manage your core pressure properly the pressure from the gap you have the muscles here right you see my one finger right i was able to fit it in between the muscles here because you're not able to manage the pressure properly so it cone up like like that like it opens up like that instead of flat it opens up cones up right so then you're you're you are looking like you're more rounder you're looking like you have a more bulging distended belly because you're not able to manage the pressure properly now you could also be not able to manage your pressure properly because you just don't use your core enough even when you don't have diastasis so that's why just looking at the doming coning from you know the belly fat would not be an accurate factor so the most accurate factor is just lying down and measure it so let's try that and tell me if you find a gap there or not. Once you're able to find a gap, I also want you to check how deep can you sink that finger into that gap. Uh, a nail deep? Is it a knuckle? Two knuckles? Or is it a whole finger that you can fit into? Some people can fit in the fist into that gap, which is quite deep. So if you are not able, you don't have to um, necessarily like forcing yourself because it should be quite obvious that you feel a wall hugging your fingers. So tell me whether you find it or not. Comment in the the comment sessions below and I would love to chat with you more so if you haven't subscribed to, to this channel do me a favor subscribe and share with other moms who are finding this could topic could be helpful for them then they could get a helpful hand from you and learning more about diastasis recti oh my gosh it's lightning and thunder it's been lightning and thundering uh, a lot can you hear that <laughs> anyways I enjoy talking with you guys and talk to you later bye